Austin Space first aired on TV screens in 1965. It was then remade into a movie in 1998. Netflix then got the rights and decided to remake the show for their streaming service. But was it any good? And what were the secrets that behind the scenes that you didn't know about? Find out what they are in this episode of Sci-Fi Fans, the channel of pop culture, trivia and chat, with occasional unboxings and reviews. Incidentally, I am a massive Aliens fan and I will be covering some Alien Romulus content very soon. So, Netflix and Lost in Space. Lost in Space was rebooted and premiered on April the 13th in 2018, bringing the iconic 60s show to a modern era. It was always going to be a three season long show though, so it wasn't cancelled for any particular reason. That's just what they intended, a bit like... Um, Stranger Things, they planned from the offset five seasons and they're filming the fifth and final season now. The series was developed by Matt Shazam and Burke Shapples, known for their work on Dracula Untold and The Last Witch Hunter. Molly Parker stars as Maureen Robinson, the brilliant aerospace engineer and matriarch of the Robinson family. Toby Stevens plays John Robinson, the former Navy SEAL and devoted father adding a rugged edge to the character. We don't really have much in the way of his backstory in the previous iterations of Lost in Space. So it's interesting that they decided to include the fact that he was a Navy SEAL, possibly to do with the survival instincts and ability that you would need to go and colonise another planet. I'm not sure. In a fun twist, Maxwell Jenkins, who plays Will Robinson, is a real-life circus performer, and he brought this unique skill to the role. Parker Posey takes on the role of the enigmatic Dr. Smith, adding her own flair to the classic character. Now, this was a gender swap, and I don't think it had anything to do with modern times, but more to do with the way that she auditioned for the role, that the producers and directors could just imagine her in the role of Dr. Smith, and the changes that she would bring to the character. Brian Steele, who plays the robot, stands an impressive six foot seven inches tall, making him the perfect fit for the towering machine. In a nod to the original series, Penny found a pet alien monkey and named it Debbie. But in the reboot, Don West has a pet chicken and names that Debbie instead. Slight difference in animals there, from chicken to monkey, but there you have it. The injured man who Jessica Harris, sorry, Jessica Harris, posing as Dr. Smith, steals the jacket from is played by Bill Mummy, the original Will Robinson. The show's stunning visual effects were created by VF, VFX company Image Engine, known for their work on Jurassic World and Game of Thrones. The breathtaking landscapes in the series were filmed in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is a popular location for sci-fi productions and I think there's no no wonder you know you have such great landscapes why not use them the design of the Jupiter 2 spacecraft was inspired by real life NASA concepts giving it a aura of realistic and futuristic look composer Christopher Lorenz created the show's epic score adding a powerful auditory experience to the series he was inspired though by the original score which was created by the legendary John Williams. The Robinson family's dynamic and personal struggles are a central theme in making the show as much about the family as well as survival and how to colonise another world. This series has received praise for its strong performances, especially from the younger cast members Maxwell Jenkins and Mia Sundell. The show was renewed for a third and final season, which premiered on December the 1st in 2021 bringing the Robinson's family journey to a satisfying conclusion, but it was always intended to only run for three seasons. The character of Dr. Smith was originally written as a male, and if you are familiar with the previous iterations of Lost in Space, then you'll know, you'll know that already. Um, but it was down to Parker Posey's audition that was so compelling that they realised that they could reimagine the character with her in the role. This series explores complex themes such as trust, sacrifice and resilience, resonating with both the old fans of the original series and new viewers alike. Many of the show's intense action scenes were actually filmed using practical effects and that helped to make them seem more realistic on screen, 
because it's I think CGI it is really useful but it is overused and you can't beat genuine actual practical effects something that I think Alien Romulus is going to have in abundance and we're going to see the benefits of that um, but I digress <clears throat> Now, there is an iconic line that the robot says throughout the film and the original TV series, and that is Danger, Will Robinson, and that was faithfully included into the robot, playing homage to the original series. So, there you go, that's my delve into uh, Lost in Space from 2018 on Netflix. What did you think? Is there anything that I should have mentioned that I didn't? Tell me in the comments box below. Suggest content if you want me to do a film that I haven't covered already, then... Uh, I'd love to know what that is and also check out the shorts feed in the meantime i'll be back very soon with some more fun movie trivia and chat or tv series trivia and chat as it is in the case for today very soon take care of yourselves check out the other content on the channel and don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and uh yeah take care i'll see you soon